to Sonny Rollins. I've I've been known to do that a few times in my career to like turn down some, you know, like, oh Miles, I can't play this gig because I've got it I committed to a gig with Kenny Burrell. We just made a record with the jazz oh, yeah. guitar band. Yeah. And Miles was like, Kenny Burrell. <laughs> and I was like, Yeah, you know. So who are you gonna get to sub? I'm like, well, okay, and I gave him a name. And I was prepared to lose the gig because, I mean, this guy played way better that style uh, guitar than I was trying to do. I was faking my way through that stuff. I knew it. Miles knew it. We all knew it. No, wait a second. Can, can I, 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 just, I want to catch you here. Like, you know, I listened to the other day, you with Miles in Minneapolis gig. It's a full gig uh. from YouTube. Yeah, and, I know. I, you know, I know. It's like that it's one phone there. call, speak, and all that stuff. Yeah. And man, you're playing like I, I first couldn't believe that it's you. It's like really the slickest Schofield licks, amazing. Really, that see no. my perception. That's I mean that's cool to hear from the outside. And you know I have to remember now that I'm adult with all this self you know awareness. Mm. It's you know I it's been part of my learning as an adult and through life rather to um, not take myself so seriously and to not be so hard on myself as a musical judge. Mm, yeah, I think I'm that's a, important. Yeah, well, so. I'm, a, I'm a notorious to myself. It's, it's, it's bad. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, I hear things differently coming out of me. Now, if I get enough time away, but that, not so much. Mm -hmm. Not that, I mean, there's some things that I kind of dabbled in fusion-wise that I listen to and I go like, mm, you yeah. know, if I had really had, like if my heart was in that to pursue that, I could have done that pretty good. There's some things, you know, have you heard the ESP record we did? Yeah, yeah sure. I saw you guys in Ljubljana, then with Daryl and uh, Robert in the right. studio, you know. Yeah. I think, I think you had like a leather jacket on, like a red, no, did you, a, a red one. No, I wasn't red. No, I never no, had a red one. No, it wasn't red. What, or no. Robert, Robert had a red one. Yeah, it was, it was like, probably, it's probably Robert. <laughs> I remember, I remember a red leather jacket, but I remember you playing, you were burning it. Like that was a good gig. That was, a that was a, that was a great, um, you know, they were very, those were the guys that, 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 uh, recommended me to Miles. Oh, Daryl and they, uh, Robert. Daryl and Bobby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they really, from Chicago, uh, right? Yeah, and they really respect, you know, Daryl was in, me and Daryl went like this. He went to New York, I went to Chicago. But, you know, they all, they respected my playing and musicianship and, you know, they recommended me for the good. They knew the cut type of guitar play, but maybe they weren't listening to it like that either. Like, you know, they knew what I could do. And then I, you know, thought they thought that I could handle the gig. But my heart was, you know, I'm doing like Kenny Burrell and the jazz guitar band. That's beautiful. Yeah. And Miles. And Miles, come yeah. on, man, that's yeah. like, yeah. yeah, like as much of a dike, like, yeah, anyway. Um, but how, how, Bobby, how was that first gig with Miles like for you? How did you <laughs> feel like, I guess, not comfortable, so like sounding like what well, you were saying now, or, or, or am I mistaken? I was, I was fully aware that it was a fluke. No, I was fully aware that I probably wasn't the right fit for him. Like in my heart, mm. like I'm, I'm not, I wasn't a fusion guitar player. Yeah. In my heart, right? But it's Miles Davis. So when they told me, send him some stuff, I got on my little four track and did my best impersonation and it was good enough for him to call me. I still have my apartment in New York at the time too. So that was cool. So when I would go to do something, I'd just go home. I know the neighbors must've been, who is this little dude? Like the guitar. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, we had dates and I'm making these dates. And then, oh man, one of these dates is falling on the Kenny Burrell. And so anyway, the first gig was, um, oh, man. I was, you know, it's the first gig with Miles. It's like we we're in Minneapolis, and it was like oh, that was the first gig, actually. Oh wow! Yeah, I think okay. so. I think wow. so. 
Maybe, maybe it was somewhere else. I know we played Detroit. No, that was later. It was somewhere in the Midwest. I can't. I may, maybe not Minneapolis. That might have been the second second gig or third gig. But wherever it was out there, it, you know. And it's coming up here. My first solo with Miles is coming up, and I'm playing whatever rhythm. Pow! E string breaks. Oh shit! Oh man! Are you serious? But that's a portent right there. Okay, so. Tech guy comes out, and we're standing, and I look at Miles like, and he looks at me under his sunglasses, whatever, and he looks at me like, oh, brother. <laughs> oh, man. So I get that E string on, you know. <laughs> he looks back over, you ready, EMF? You know, <laughs> like, yes, I think so, and go. And then I go, you know, whatever, you heard it. You think it was okay? I, I mean, think I, I mean, I, you you know what? When I hear it, I wouldn't say it's you. That's the thing. It's like you, you play that's, amazing. That's you okay. Know. That's all right. I and didn't think like, it was me either. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Good point. It's so, amazing you know, playing. You know. So. Yeah. And I think he he kind of knew he would come over to me, would walk over to me on a stage and like play a line from 1950, just like kind of just play it to me and look up at, at me like like I know who you are <laughs> and I said I know you know who I am you know so I did uh, like I said when I had to call the sub it was probably like my fourth gig and the guy that I called is a guy named Alan Burroughs he's and this whole thing not that these like details from me mm -hmm. but it's all chronicled in this book uh called the last miles and um yeah, so Interesting. I called Alan, and I, like I said, I was fully ready to uh, to hand the gig over because Alan was a fabulous, is a fabulous musician and was a fabulous fusion player, like for real, for real. Like, I remember hearing him one night and saying, man, Schofield needs to hear this dude. <laughs> yeah, it was like oh, that. I him out. Okay. It was like that. And I, and and. And so I was like, you know what? He's the man for the job, actually. So, but I wasn't going to recommend somebody that, you know, again, that's the type of, you know, American I am. It's like, I don't know. 